Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today's little lesson is something that people's asked me a lot about and I'm going to demonstrate on how we can do it. And that is how to draw the trend lines with the dollar amount on them on the TOS Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform brought to you by ilovestocks.com. Most people call me Washboard Jim and that's okay with me. So we're going to go straight right to it. As you can see, I've already drawn a trend line right here. Drawing a trend line is pretty simple. These are called extended trend lines. And you just kind of have to double click it twice and it brings up your trend line. So what you want to do is you want to go straight to the trend line after you've clicked your trend line. And by finding them, you go to the drawings up here to the right, up on top of the page where it says drawings. You open that window up and it takes you to the drawing tools. You go down to the drawing tools and hit the one with the dollar sign on it. And that'll bring you to this. There's a bunch of little tools on here that you can use, but this is the one we want to go to. Again, you go to the drawing tools and you go to that second window on the right and click that. So now once you draw your trend line on here that I previously showed you, and I'm going to do another one just for, for kicks, you go to where you want the trend line to be. And once you figure out where you want it to be, and I'm going to stick it right here in the middle because I'm going to show you a little trick here. Then you double click it twice and it automatically draws a straight line all the, all the way across the chart. Now to get into this, you've got to set that pencil right on that trend line and right click your mouse. And it brings up this box here. You want to go to edit properties and it brings up this window. This window right here gives you the left extension, the right extension, the show the name. The name is this right up here where it says price level three. And then you got down here, you got the date. You got the color of the line, the style of the line that you want to use, just in case you wanted to use, you know, the straight line, this line here, or the dotted line. And then you got the size of the width. And you can go on any amount of size of the width from one to five. And then after that, you hit the default if you want it to stay. If you don't, you just hit OK. So for right now, when you have the left extension on, that means from wherever you put that line at, it's going to extend out that away. So I've got that left extension on. If I wanted to take it off, I'm going to show you what it looks like. It automatically cuts itself off. So wherever you, you hit that dot and you hit that trend line, it's going to extend to the right side of it. Now, if you want that back on here, you just go right back to that line, go to Edit Properties, and turn this back on. And it automatically extends it on out to the left. And that's the same thing with the right side. Put that pencil on the trend line, go to Edit Properties. You can turn that extension off, hit OK, and it automatically cuts it off to the right side of the page, leaving just the left side of the extension on. But we're going to have it all the way across for right now. That's the way I prefer it for right now. It depends on how you want to draw your charts up. So we're going to turn this back on to the right extension. Now if you wanted to show the title, what trend line this is, like the box that you're doing, what line it is, this one's price level 3. You would hit this box right here, turn it on to the left side, hit OK and that price level three will come right on here. That means that's the third line that you draw on. So if you're going down in sequence from one on down, one, two, three, four, but I kind of went from this in here would be extension two, extension one. For right now, we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. So I'm gonna go back to edit properties and I'm gonna turn it off, do not show. And I'm gonna hit that. So once I've got the trend line on there, I wanna put the price. So I go to Edit Properties, and what we have right here is Show the Price. Now you have three options. You do not show it if you didn't want to show it. All it would do is just show the extended trend line all the way across. It wouldn't be diagonal or horizontal, it would just be straight across the page. The level trend line. And then you'd have your left and your right. If I wanted to have the price on the left, it would show up on the left. If I wanted to have it on the right, it would show up on the right as you see right here. But I prefer it on the left because I'm looking at the action of the day right here and it interferes with my charts. So I always put it on the left side. And we're going to go back to this and we're going to hit the left. Now if I want this to stay exactly the way I want it to, I'll go straight down here to save as default. 
I'll hit that button, then I'll hit OK, and it automatically will save it. Every time I draw a line now, it'll automatically be the same. The price will show up over here. The extended trend line will go all the way across the page at a level balance. And that's basically how you do it. That's how, you, and always remember, go to Drawing Tools, hit that Drawing Price thing. Once you draw your trend line, open up Edit Properties, and that brings up this window. And then you got the different color of box. If you want it to be red, you hit OK, and it'll automatically turn red on you. And I usually put the red ones on here, and I do these by every year. So this year is blue, and I'll use this red line as a support level, as a solid support. It's a line that I want to remember when I'm drawing up my charts, and I use it the same way when I'm drawing up my resistances. And then also, if I wanted to, uh, let me see if there's anything else I need to show on here. Yes, if I wanted to make the size of the line different sizes, let's say I want to make it a three, it automatically goes bigger. See the different size in the trend line? It automatically goes to a bigger size. And I do that when I'm really excited about a trend line. I'll make it bigger. And I usually call that, in my terminology, I'll call it a hard resistance or a hard support. So we're gonna bring this back to one for right now. And I'm gonna change it to default. I want it to be the same. So every time I pull this up, now I left that line red, so it's automatically gonna be red. So if I want to change that color, I'd automatically go back in here. I change this to blue. I hit the default button. And then every line after that will automatically blue all the time. And I'm going to draw me another one right here. And just go on and so on. And each one of these have a different level on them. This is level 7. You see I have 7 lines on here now. So this will be price, li price level 7. And that's basically how you do it, how you draw the dollar amount on the extended trend line pattern. And I am the master. I've been doing this for 15 years, and I've got this down to a fine art of finding supports, resistance, and pivot points. So always remember, I love stocks. If you want to join our chat room, we have the easy setup instructions right here. We offer one, one free week to join the room. Vegas and I are on voice during the whole period during the daytime we definitely take breaks we're not always talking but we're there teaching educating giving ideas and just shouting out alerts and and also i'm on here all day talking about patterns and and how to trade stocks and so is she she's you know, she's does a lot of option trading and she also day trades and she also swing trades we also here on the home page we have a Twitter sign up where you can sign up on Twitter. You can follow us on the Twitter page if you don't want to join the chat room and we post alerts in here. We also have in here our st stock our stock twits. You can follow us on stock twits. That's as Vegas's page right here. And this one will be mine. You can go straight to this one right here and you'll automatically hit this and follow me here on stock twits. So I appreciate everybody watching this video, and I hope it helped you very much. And I love stocks.